The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX and then also the FTSE. Uh, the FTSE paid real close attention, folks, because British pound, the folks over there at the Bank of England raised rates by half a percent, and the market sold off uh, quite a bit. Now, I've had lots of requests about what the heck was I looking at yesterday at the uh, 4140 level. Uh, in the market, I heard uh, I have a basil give me a, pu a push in there. But folks, all all I do when I look at these things is I I, I look at history, and and what the patterns are are basically telling me. So I'll I'll do my best to try to walk through what we were looking at yesterday. If you remember, I think I get this first one. Up that <laughs> that's the wrong one. Hold on just a second. You don't even know how that got in there. Okay, here's what here's the, the mystery that everybody was asking me about. There's really no mystery at all. Let me get this up here, and I will bring it up to your uh, bring it to your attention here shortly, if we can. Get this up here and uh, change windows, and we hit this little puppy, and that should get us up here. Okay, that low that we made down there was exactly 382. Now we had made that. If you believe it, this is where we made it right here, folks. Then we had the 60 handle rally, okay, all the way up into this level. Then we came back, didn't didn't take out the low, missed it by about a point, and then it took off. That's when the Fed came out. The Fed came out. It was really supposed to be bearish. Came right down, boom, and we went all the way up to that level of 103. Now, what was why was that important? I put this in the video last night because I saw a lot of things happening that looked like they may or may not be worth anything. But if we if we look at something uh, like that, and just give me a second here, this is the one I want to show you. This is the number we were waiting for. Hold on just a second. Now we were oh shucks, shut the front door and raise the rent. Hit that wrong button there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now you remember, uh, you see see what this little line is here? That's the 38% uh, retracement of the high way back here. Now, we only got to 4303. Why was 4303 important? Well, and I, I was trying to bring this to everybody's attention at one time. It's, it's not as always easy as you might think. So uh, bear with me here for a second, and I'll, I'll show you the, the reasoning uh, behind this because it's something that we look at. Daily, actually, we start out with the QQQ. Now, this is when this is when the market was running, folks. So, if you get this up here and take a look at, it. all I'm doing is looking at what happens. I do the same thing every day, uh, and uh, this is it. You see where we were at that standard deviation? What you do? You see on the right there, where you have that little 382, and you uh, right below that standard deviation. <laughs> That's what told you we're heading down today. So. When, and we did the same thing in the Russell, folks. Uh, it was really uh, that was the that was the DAX, and I I believe I have the Russell here. Uh, so there it is, the Russell. Just a second, we'll get up here. But Russell was actually perfect, well, because the, the Nasdaq uh, the uh, Nasdaq is a little squirrely because of the the factors that they have on the weighting there. Let's get this up here, so we'll be able to see it here. And there's where we are, right there. So that's what happened. Now, I wanted to explain to you something that may or may not mean anything to you or not. But here was the here was the forecast that we were looking for in the uh, in the e mini early in the morning. Let me get this up here, and because uh, these swings are so big now, we have to pay close attention to them. And I'm just going to show you now. There's there's the low in the morning. There's the low that we had. You see that low? Then we rallied all the way up here. That was 60 handles. Then we pulled back a little bit. Then we pulled back a little bit more. This is when the Fed came in. You see right there? That's when the Fed came in. And that market should have been making a high versus a low. But look, what, look, see what's happening now when you're doing that. And this thing, remember, this thing picked this up six weeks ago. So it's not, it's not a big deal. Look, look, all I have to do now is to reverse. Hold on one second. And this is the, the key to what the whole thing for the day. 
if you look at this, you'll see the where the the inverted pattern, and that here was the here was the original low that we were looking at. Then we're looking at the inverted pattern right here, and that's why it went straight straight up. Now let me show you a little trick that I saw from somebody on the internet. I thought it was pretty good. He posted this chart of the, uh, I believe it's the Nasdaq. No, it's the S&P. Hold on one second here of the NASDAQ and get this up here. And this is a, this is my favorite song of all, my favorite song of all. Hold on. There was what he was looking at. He said, look, the market went straight up. Well, if you were here with us yesterday and you believe in the one thing that we like now, everybody in the alphabet, give me ready for what you like to hear because – a, B equals C, D. A, B equals C, D. I can still hear Mark saying it just that way. A, B equals C, D. And there you go. You see that A, B, C, D right on the bottom, right as Fed was speaking. Eight, it was a 41, 40, uh, 4 was the 41140. we bought at. This low here was 4140. It didn't take out that original low. And that's why we had the big move up. And that's why the reason why we're having the big move down, in my opinion, and I've been saying this for well over a week, to watch this day here because this is uh, Cinco de Mayo, Mexican independence. And uh, this is, uh, let's get this up here to see it right here. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. This is from 1987, folks. This is the same setup that we had back then. Right here was the solar eclipse, September 23rd. You count nine days into the October 2nd Venus-Uranus conjunction, which is today. And by golly, look what happens. You went right up, and now you're coming down hard. And if you close below that 4140, folks, it's lights out. So get yourself something, because we're going to go down really hard into May 17th. Big time hard. Maybe even historically hard, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, the other one we want to talk about, another really interesting one, of course, is the uh, euro we were very we were long the euro and uh be believe it or not i i just i was i was so shocked with all the other stuff was going around i didn't even pay attention all the stuff that was going on in the euro i had such a it was just a good day yesterday anyway look at look at this in the midst of the fed it goes to the 382 to the exact tick to the exact tick folks and now it's way down here we we bought it we bought it down here sold it up here and went short right there and then now it's coming down right here so i i, I think it's getting ready to go a lot lower but we'll see and the fine oh they're not finding but the other one we want to look at of course was the uh the uh, gold market and if i can just find the gold market i will put it up here i've got so many things today that i uh I probably missed a few. Let me get it up here for a second here. Ah, this is it right here. Okay, we'll get this up here. We set this out long before it happened too, folks. Gold was still at the 1885 level when we sent this out. And uh, you'll see we went up to the exact 382 of the high that we made back in 19, at 1965. So... Folks, if I could have two days like I had yesterday and today on a day that we're going to trade on May 17th, I'll be a happy camper because we're seeing volatility hanging pretty good, pretty good. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, someone asked what I think is going to happen for today. I don't know, but this is what the prediction is. Uh, you can see it's been following quite nicely. The time frame there is, I believe, at 1130. Uh, yep, 1130. Uh, if we are going lower by 1130, we're going to see something historic here going into May the 17th, I believe, or May the uh, uh, wait, May, yeah, May the seventeenth, or no, May seventeenth is the is the uh, the day trading seminar. But the Dargon, I think the low is around the twenty second of May, as I recall. So that's if we go start going lower by this, this would mean the S and P we down more than it was up yesterday, and that would be one hundred and thirty points. So that's a pretty big one to uh, you know pay attention to here. So that's uh, what I'm looking at uh, for today. There's a couple other things that. Uh, that need to be covered. Uh, one is uh, the, you, I'm going to post this because this is what we were looking at yesterday. And of course, we were adding to a short position. We now have uh, three units on now uh, in the Treasury bonds uh, 149, 143, and 140. It uh, hit 137 and change and going lower. Uh, you can see the 382 retracement here. We couldn't quite get there with the uh, uh, with the Fed in there yesterday, that's where our stop was just above here, and then it started to go lower. So the bonds look really bad, folks. They've been looking bad for a very long time, and they're getting worse and worse. And that's not good. That's not really good for our economy. But then that's me, you know, just uh, talking uh, about it uh, a little bit, you know. So that's it. Now, the two things that are extremely important that I want to bring to your attention right now, and we owe our friend down in Dallas, Mr. BV, a really good uh, uh, hand of applause here because I'm going to show you the key to what I thought was happening yesterday. I, I couldn't get these videos out until probably around 9 o'clock. when this, this is the open interest, folks. If you'll uh, take a look at these, uh, you'll see here you have this drop in open interest and prices way up. Now, that's the the uh, the E-mini here. Uh, you can see this. I see as open interest is dropping, price is going higher, folks. That is short covering. That's all we had yesterday in the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell. All of them had drops in open interest. Not a very good sign. That told you that there's not new buyers coming in, and that's what the key to that darn thing was. And the same thing we had happen with gold. Gold was totally different. Let me get this one up here for you to uh, 
take a look at it. Here, in, uh, just take me a second here so we can look at it together. I'm going to incorporate these every day because Billy's kind enough to draw these for me and, and put the program in. But anyway, you can see here the gold here. Uh, we've had a, a pretty good increase in open interest here with the market. This is a, which, which one is the gold? I can't even see it. It's so small. Let me get up here so I can see it. This is a gold. This crude oil, gold, silver. Okay, now I got it. Let me put this back up here because they're so small. I had to reread re it just a second. Hold on. Now. Okay, if this one right here, uh, this is this is gold, this is crude oil, and this is silver. Now you see, price is going higher, open interest going higher. That's very bullish. Okay, here we had prices going slightly higher, open interest going higher, also bullish. Silver, a little different story, not doing anything. So it was telling me that you don't want to be. Um, you don't want to be short this stuff unless you're setting at major patterns. And that's what we had when we were looking at the gold at 1910 uh, because it had a, uh, you know, 1.6, excuse me, a 78% retracement of the high of last week and the 382 retracement of the high of uh, three and a half weeks ago. And that's why uh, it was so uh, very, very important. I just wanted to show you the difference now when you look at some of these things because these bonds have fallen off my chart. I haven't had a chance to update them since that time, but here's that same pattern in the bonds, and uh, this is it. This is a far, far cry, folks, from uh, negative interest rates. And remember, I thought you were, they were feeding us tapioca when they told us that one because that, to me, folks, is totally, totally uh, bonkers and bananas. That's uh, that's what I'm looking at as I'm seeing these things. By the way, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Tomorrow's show, folks. I, I, I don't don't miss tomorrow's show, folks. Uh, Peter Elides will be our guest. Uh, Peter is a couple years older than me between the two of us. We have over 60-some years, 120 years of experience, uh, way over that. And anyway, that, well, maybe 130. But uh, he's, he really knows this, this stock market stuff, folks. He spent his life at it. And, uh, of course, his hobby, and he's, at, he's a professional musician. Uh, I play several different instruments, so he's really into that stuff. He knows all about Pythagoras and the Fibonacci sequences and all that stuff. And uh, we learned Fibonacci together, you know, 60 years ago. But by golly, he's uh, he's done a great job. And uh, you'll, you'll really enjoy the show. I know you will for sure. Okay, th those are a couple of the things that I wanted to cover. Um, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. The chart that I posted, folks, I think this is the most important chart I posted in a very long time. And that's this one right here about what happened in 1987. And believe me, folks, uh, it had to do – I mean, remember when we got down into here, I said we had to have a good rally into this aspect. And 900 points in the Dow is a good rally. The problem is it gave it up all in one day. Folks, if you come in – this is only Wednesday. If you come in Friday and this market is below 4,100, oh, boy. Get ready for next week because they're gonna. There's gonna be a big washout. These are gonna be disappointed bulls that think that big turn was yesterday. Hey, it might be by the end of the day today. This thing might be up 800 points. I don't know, but right now it's not looking very good. So those are a few of the things that we're you know sort of keeping an eye on as we, as we look at these things. I see the euro is uh, you know and oh my goodness, look at this gold now 1879. Holy cow. Very good. Okay, that's what we want to see. All right, and here we go with the next one. We're 41. I just see we're at 41.42 right now uh, in the S&P, and uh, we're coming into uh, almost that time, 11:30. By golly, we're there, boys and girls. Let's see what happens right now. Now, don't 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 go to the bank at this. Okay, I mean this is a this is not a, a banking trade. We know but we start making lows after today. Uh, just a second here. I've got to get this out, and then I'll be ready. And then I'll be ready. Just give me a second here. Okay, and this is the same place we was yesterday. If I can find it. Where are you? Find it. Mm -hmm. Here it is right now. This is the update of that chart. Now, remember, remember, boys and girls, sometimes this stuff works. Sometimes it doesn't. And that's what we're looking at right now. The key to this, folks, is if you're half hour, 
you're over in here and you're making new lows, that means this thing's going to be down the rest of the day. So remind yourself of that. That's a pretty good thing. So, okay, let's move on here to the next one we want to be seeing here is the uh, – Hold on, where is it? I want to go to this chart right here and show you this one right here because this Euro trade is really, folks, you know, of all the things that I talk about here, and by golly, you know, <laughs> I do it day after day, but, you know, it don't sink in. Even to me, it doesn't even sink in. But look look at these some of these things that we talk about here, folks. This is not rocket science. I mean, it really isn't. You know, it basically comes down to a few ratios and A, B equals C, D. Hey, we'll be right back. I think we're going to have Shane Smolian as a spot guest. We'll be right back, folks. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks, uh, I thought we were going to have Shane Smolian here at the break, but evidently he's tied up right now. But we'll move on to a couple other of these charts that uh, we want to be uh, chatting with here a little bit. Tomorrow will be Peter Elides, as I mentioned. And I think we have uh, Shane on the line now. Shane, are you there? Larry, can you hear me? Yes, sir, buddy. Uh, listen, you've been talking about this happening, and it's happening. What do you see from here on, buddy? All right. Well, yesterday we had what I call the poop slinging rally uh, when the Fed talks. <laughs> hey, watch and, the uh, language. Let, watch the language. Let, let, let me tell you what that's about. Um, there's been this really strange phenomenon, which is every time there's a conference, the market mysteriously rallies. So I used to work with this physics teacher, and uh, 
he and he and he would be in the classroom. He was very sarcastic, and so sometimes he'd ask a question, and, and the kids would just start shouting out random answers. It'd be like 45, 22, 33, and he'd look at the kids and he'd be like, "You know what? You guys are like the monkeys at the zoo that just randomly sling poop at the board, hoping that one of these answers is correct." And uh, I think that's kind of that's kind of how I think of these rallies. It's just like they're just everyone just kind of throwing poop out, hoping that oh, this is it, this is the rally, this is it, and it's like it's not it. And uh, mm-hmm. and we saw this quick retracement today, so that faded pretty quickly. And we're coming into uh, we're coming into some really really uh, negative periods here on this S and P. We got the Mercury station next week, and then we've got this lunar eclipse coming up. And uh, you know this this is something that. Um, we have to be very careful because this is a different situation. La- last time, if we look at last time, the last rally, uh, we had a stelium in, fe- in effect. And so when we had that last stelium peak uh, in March, the last time we came off that Fed meeting, they were slinging the poop, but we also had uh, the, the peak here of the stelium that was giving it some tailwind. This is over now. Uh, the stelium is done, guys. There's no more stelium. There's no more energy to back this thing up. Uh, and so now I, I you know, I, I feel very strongly that all of these rallies are just going to be faded at this point. Uh, the statistically, when we look at this, uh, this is super interesting too. These are the daily statistics that we look at today, Wednesday or yesterday, Wednesday was the strongest statistical day of the week uh, and the strongest big move of the week. And it played out just like that. And then today and tomorrow are two of the weakest statistical days of the week and it's playing out. That in combination with the, the fact that the market tends to reverse the day after the Fed meeting uh, is telling us that this is following the plan pretty much to a T here. Uh, the Fed the Fed is weakening. Uh, you know, they, they get up and they talk about, oh, we're not going to go three quarters of a point. It's like, well, they still went half a point. They're still tightening the balance sheet. Uh, it's kind of like saying, well, I'm not going to get the machine gun out. I'm just going to stab you with the knife. So every, and everyone <laughs> celebrated over that. You know, it's yeah. like, you know, come on, come on. It, it, there, there's nothing good about this. Um, it's, a, it's a tough situation. Uh, and so each of these rallies, I kind of give a different name. But, the, you know, the bride of the Frankenstein rally has been over uh, with the geomagnetic storm hitting the top here. And then, you know, this was a one day poop slinging rally once again. Uh, and, and so, I, you know, I, and, and you, went, you mentioned this uh, earlier, Larry, that the open interest is dropping on the S&P. That's not a good sign. It fell no. yesterday on the rally. Uh, and, you know, yeah. th- I, there'll be more of these. I mean, everyone's going to just keep slinging the poop out there, hoping that this is it. This is the turn. Uh, but uh, <laughs> this this is there's bigger there's bigger things coming into play here. And May is a is a is a very, very dangerous month for the S&P 500. Very dangerous as well. as so is June, July, August, September and any <laughs> month that has. A, OK, <laughs> hey, listen, thanks. for Thanks for popping in today. We'll have you in next week, of course. But uh, this was very important because you've been talking about that. And uh, we'll have Peter Lighty's on. He's got some interesting stuff about it, too. So that'll be that'll be don't miss that show, Shane. You'll really enjoy him. He's oh, uh, I'll, I will. I will yeah, tune he, in for he's, sure. I tune in every day. He's very, but... very good. Yeah. All right. I, hey, buddy, I can't thank wait. You so, yeah. Thank you so much for being on. And we'll. Uh, We'll keep those cards and letters coming in, okay? Hey, everyone out there, stop slinging the poop, man. It's not coming back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, right, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid you've been banned forever, buddy. Good luck to you. <laughs> We're going to send you to the Catholic Church to pray. Hey, folks, uh, we made a low down here at 1140. Again, remember, that's at 382 off the whole thing. We've hit it the third time now. Going below it this time would really be not very good. We've we rallied about uh, oh, 20 points since we've been talking about it, and uh, that might be all you get. I don't know, but if we go below that low now in the next half hour oh dear you just just want to stand aside but if it holds you could see a pretty good rally because that happened to come in you know right at the at right at the low and people was asking me a question did i take that trade no no boys and girls i'm looking at something a little beyond that and that is this right here i keep harping about it there's still plenty of time but uh, as we look at this uh, you don't see these very often uh, and been, and I, it's been doing exactly what we thought it would do. I mean, this sequence between the the eclipse of the 23rd of uh, September 1987 was just like the one we just had here on the 29th of April. And we rally up into the 4th or 5th of May right here. There was a Venus uh, sextile, uh, Uranus, Venus sextile Uranus at that point, And boom, 
Now, this one we have Venus conjunct a uh, sextile, which is even more powerful because it's at zero degrees. Folks, this, this number right here, this number right here, that Venus Uranus cycle is the reason that I got into astrology and why I wrote that book, The Floor, um, the Viewpoints of a Commod, of a, do, what, I can't even remember the name of it. Oh, why golly, my first book, it's got here, I've got it here up on my desk, I can't even see the darn thing. Uh, oh dear, I can't even remember the name of my first book, boy, that's a bad sign. Anyway, let's move on to viewpoint. No, that was viewpoints of commodity trader was Roy Roy Longstreet. Uh, okay, uh, astro cycles a trader's viewpoint just hit me just now. Anyway, that's where we were when I saw that. All all I did was I asked Twentyman. I said Twentyman, ask Neil Michelson down at uh, you know um, down in San Diego at Astro Computing. I said ask him how many times we've seen these aspects occur. And he gave us that data. Jimmy put him into a computer, and he marked off these days when we would have these Venus Uranus aspects. Now, we were only looking at the four, conjunction, opposition, uh, and then the two on the side, the two trines and the, and the uh, squares. So we're only looking at four of those. But on, you hit those things, it was unbelievable. I sent it off to uh, Frank Tauscher over at the Super Traders Almanac, and he came back and he said, if you hadn't had 500 samples, he said, I never would have believed it. He said, but this is truly amazing the, how the market turns on these dates. And uh, I said, yep, it certainly is. It was a better than 85% hit. I still use them to this day, but that was the reason. The reason why I'm spending a little time here now, folks, if we come down here and we're starting to go below these lows here by Friday, buy yourself a put for, for, for Monday because uh, – it's going to be you if it doesn't open sharply lower on Monday then you're probably going to be wrong but if it does open sharply lower it could be a flying well into to the downside I don't know whether it's going to do that or not I'm just saying the risk on that point is going to be great now if the market holds these lows that we made here at 1840 and I'm not sure they're going to today well they're certainly holding right now they're back up we're out we're 25 handles up now that look that's looking pretty good now shut the front door and raise the rent anyway that's it. Remember that low, but keep in mind, folks. I, I, I tried to send the videos out on this and subscribe, you know, tell you what to do, and uh, I hope it helps, and we'll be able to see that, uh, you know, see this thing moving. But we've got. Let's just do a quick, quick and dirty thing here. Oh, gee, this thing is just so much farther down than before. We're down a hundred. Oh, we you dropped a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty handles from the hundred and sixty handles from the high, folks. Shut the front door and raise your mitt. Remember. Below 4140 is good night, Irene. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Treasury bonds. This is the weekly. I'm doing that because I just saw my alert go off that we hit a, we hit below 137. We've got a 136 handle now uh, in the uh, Treasury bonds. As you can see here, we're looking at them down here around this 131 one level. The, the, the key part about this, folks, this is a weekly now, but look at this beautiful 135 pattern. We have the lower highs. This is the upside down version of three drive to a top pattern. Look at the ABCD pattern here, ABCD. And you remember way up in here what they were feeding us? Hello, operator. Yes, we have negative interest rates for you. And we have a caller from Tom in Tampa. That must be Tommy O'Brien. How are you doing, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> yeah, you bet. What I'm can I do great. for you, buddy? Um, how are you doing, Larry? Good. Good. Hey, Larry, uh, can we take a look at that GOAT contract? It was, it was up about 25 bucks this morning, and then they... I don't know, are they, did they, uh, what caused that thing to come down so significantly uh, since uh, this morning? Uh, more buyers and sellers, my friend. I don't know the answer to that, but, but I will tell you this. I did issue a sell signal last night, at, and I'll bring this chart up at the 1909 level. And uh, these are for the folks that belong to the 24-7. Sent that out real early. We were trading at 1899 when I sent it out. But uh, we got up to there, you see, right at 1909, 1910, were two major numbers, a 382 off of the high way back here and then a 78% level from the high that we made last week. So that's why I think it's happening, but you know, who knows? As, personally, I think it's happening because of this cycle that Shane Smolian been talking about, this Venus Uranus cycle and the stellium that occurred. That's my guess that it was just a one day wonder in stocks and the rest of these things. Look at the, look at the bond market, Tom. There's trouble out mm -hmm. there in River City. I mean, yes, this sir. is serious money. Yes, this sir. is six times bigger than the stock market, and they're just, you know, they're bleeding mm -hmm. it. And, you know, they've got people trapped in there that they're having a hard time to get out. Yeah, and, you know, it's, um, yeah, no, you're dead right. I agree with you. Um, well, I, no, I'd rather be right than dead if I have my two choices. What's that? I said I'd rather be right than dead if I have my two choices. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it blows my mind that gold's not sitting up here around twenty five hundred dollars an ounce with uh, all this inflation and everything listen, going on. But you know, I used to hear Tom, Tom O'Brien say that you know the gold market—it's uh, a very mar easy market for the uh, the feds to manipulate, um, yeah, whoever's manipulating it. But um, you know, but they can yeah, do that for so long, then that thing—you know—it takes off again. So um, 
Yeah, I think yeah. if we could get gold down to that level, the ABCD that we're looking for on this is at 1812 to uh, 1776. If we get down into that area, that's a long-term weekly cycle that we've been waiting for for a long time. Um, we're hoping towards the end of May, early June, we might get there. And then I think I'm going to start recommending people get back into buying of the silver coins and stuff like that. Uh, you know, silver rounds, because I do believe we're going to make new highs uh, in gold sometime this year. This is not over. This is just a normal cycle that's occurring. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think we've got a lot, a lot farther to go once the bottom's in. But, you know, I trade technically. So if I see a place to sell it and I can make a couple of bucks, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So that's how I look at it. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, Sounds listen, good. thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. I don't know how you got through. You must have got a lucky number this morning because there was a lineup of them today. So I'm glad you got through, buddy. Look at the Irish, brother. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Keep the faith. Stay on the green <laughs> side day. of the grass. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one, Larry. You bet, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. folks, get, getting back to that bond market. Uh, this thing doesn't have any friends. Uh, there's a big, tr there's big trouble out there in that bond market. And remember, it's six times what we're talking about in the uh, in the stock market. So let's uh, keep our uh, eyes open on this. The other one that is interesting, of course, is what happened in the euro. Let's get this up here so we can see it here. This was the trade we had uh, yesterday, two days ago. Well, it's a, five days ago. We've been in this thing until yesterday. You'll see that we had the uh, the big move down, and then last night we rallied right up to the 382 retracement right here, folks, at that uh, 106 and change. That's where it stopped exactly. I posted that earlier, and now we're coming down, and we're almost ready to take out these lows. And that, my friends, will be very, very bearish and very bullish to the dollar, which may mean may be the main reason why gold is weak, because when the dollar is weak, gold is strong. So with the dollar getting weaker here, uh, excuse me, stronger, with the euro dropping, that means that that could be the reason why gold goes off. But folks, honest to God, I don't think that way. I think one way, folks, this way right here. This is the way that gets me to where I want to go. A, B, C, D. This is what I'm going to be harping on, on the whole thing during Mar uh, the April, <laughs> the May 17th uh, move here, uh, that May 17th trading day that we're going to have, and that's it. This overnight stuff is getting old, folks. Let me tell you. <laughs> I love it just as much as I always did, but by golly, the hours that I've been keeping are just uh, just absolutely insane. But that that's neither here nor there. Okay, uh, we'll have Paula on next week. Uh, she had a, a problem with some. Uh, uh, things that uh, that had to be moved. She's moving to another house, and so she had to do some moving stuff today, so she's not able to be with us, but she will come in next week. And it, I'll mention it one more time. Don't miss tomorrow's show with Peter Lighties because Peter is a home run guy and just fun to talk to. He, he's really fun to be around, period. <laughs> and does he know the stock market? Shut the front door and raise the rent. That boy certainly does. Okay, here's another big one, folks. If we wanted to talk to you here, uh, let's get this up because we've certainly seen this one happen. This is the uh, one that occurred here in London today. This is the uh, the Bank of England raised the rates. And if you'll remember here, you know, we were talking about this market going down to this level, this 124 level. And we were below 124 today, folks. We're 20. The last I saw, the pound was at 123 and change still going down. That was another one that, you know, it's been very, very bearish and continues to uh, continues to move lower. The next level on that pound would be at two. And, uh, folks, when I first started trading the British pound, it was 105 way back in the early 1980s. Okay, so let's move back here to a few other ones that I wanted to mention that are very important. We had a really interesting pattern here. I haven't updated this, but I know they did complete it, but I don't know what copper did after that because I'm, I'm basically bearish on copper. Uh, as I have been in gold, I think copper is going to get down to this area here around 420. Can someone give me a rough idea of where copper is trading this morning? Because I think we're going to get to that 420 level, maybe even lower. And we get lower, then that means Dr. Copper is telling us the stock market 
is not nearly as good as uh, you might want to think it is. So, uh, yeah, we're right. At, we're still at that 430 level, someone just told me. Uh, and so that that's still holding up at that level. So it's important that we uh, that we keep a close eye uh, on that. So that's what I'm paying attention to. So I hope that does help. And uh, we'll have some cards and letters coming in. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Okay, folks, we had a 22-point handle rally in the S&P, and you can see it give up the ghost right away. This thing's going to be down the rest of the day, the odds say, so be careful out there. Folks, that chart that I posted from the 1987, I know things not like this don't happen often, but they're set up that way. So like I mentioned, if we're weak here today and tomorrow and Friday, um, Let's be really careful here because uh, it would be too, well, tomorrow is Friday. But if we're down hard on Friday, I would buy a put. Uh, you know, if it's down early in the morning, I'd buy a put and gamble that it's going to close lower. But buy a put because there's a chance that could really get nasty here coming next week because next week is the a week that would really push the market down really hard for a lot of different reasons related to cycles. And some of them are astro cycles that I don't understand wholly, but I can go to Shane Smolian, Norm Winsky, Tim Bost, uh, Bill Meridian. I can do a lot of people that give me back, backside information on this, whether I can use it or not. So I hope that helps you. So just be careful here because uh, uh, you know, if you're long, make sure you put a stop in because you can see what happened to some of these stocks like eBay and Facebook. I'm sure you're not into stocks like that, but 
you know, it could get uh, it could get relatively nasty because it's pushing it down so far. So that's uh, that's the real reason why we're we're watching some of these things. So let's pay uh, very very close. Gold was up about thirty, almost forty bucks. It's now up six bucks. Silver's up a nickel. Uh, we've got uh, the Treasury bonds. I see are trading below the 137 level. They're trading at 136, down three full handles, folks. When it, you talk about a, a standard deviation move, that's a heck of a move in Treasury bonds being down to three standard deviations. So those are just a few of the things that we're really paying very, very close attention to. On the on the grain side, you know, you've got the, the beans are basically unchanged, but you've got wheat up 35 cents which is unusual itself, but I haven't been following the grains much because I've been focusing on the currency, the euro, the bonds, and the stock indices, so you can only do so many things. Remember, folks, going to have a full day of trading back on May 17th. It'll be my last one for the year, so try to join me, and it's going to be a, going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do a lot of I'm going to do some teaching, of course, because most of these guys know what I'm doing. But uh, I want to show you why I'm doing it at the time that I'm doing it. I'm not going to use the AI that much because I want to stick with the patterns. 877-927-6648. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Peter Elides. Peter Elides.